Your Majesty. Well, what news do you bring me from Switzerland, Ulrich? The people are willing to accept the fact that the country has been attached to the German Empire, Your Majesty, but they're not willing to accept the government that you're offering them. <laughs> These peasants are a proud lot. Your father, the Emperor Rudolf, signed a charter agreeing that they should have the privilege of self-government. Well, what of it? The charter says that in each of the Swiss districts, the imperial power will never be represented by a delegate sent from abroad, but always by a leader from their own people, elected by the people themselves. Times have changed, Ulrich. I want to look after Switzerland personally. I'm going to send strong and ruthless governors to impose my wishes. And if the people try to rebel, I'll smash them. Don't you think they're too fine for these insolent peasants? A heap of straw in a stable would suit them better, sir. Hey, you there. What's your name, fellow? Werner Stauffer. Who sir. does this new house belong to? It's a house that I live in, sir. But it belongs to my master, the emperor. That is to say, it belongs to you, Herr Governor. That's what I like to hear. I govern this district in the name of the emperor. And I don't want these serfs building houses without my permission. Neither do I want them to think that they are masters of their country. They are not to forget what I say. Does he mean that the Emperor of Austria is going to ignore our charter altogether? I'm very much afraid, so no, We're free folk. We'll never accept a yoke imposed on us by a lackey sent from Austria. If he gives himself the right to confiscate the simplest of peasant houses, where's his tyranny going to stop? Have you heard what happened on the other side of the lake? Landenberg, the new governor of Unterwalden, has hanged a couple of peasants because he claimed they hadn't saluted him respectfully enough. Great heavens! When will someone come to save our country? Let us be patient. The Emperor of Austria cannot live forever. Let us wait and pray to God. We are just ordinary workmen. Peasants, oh, yeah. scarcely able to milk a cow even. But I'll teach you how to work, I will. When this cursed building is finished, I'm going to throw my trowel to the bottom of the lake. Oh. Good day, friends. Oh, good day, Arnold. Hey, you! You've got no business to be here, you. Get away. I simply wanted to know what this magnificent building is destined for. It's being built for His Grace the Duke of Lundenberg, Governor of Unterwald. That Austrian peacock. Austrian peacock, eh? You dare to make fun of his grace? Those words of yours are going to cost you dear? Come on, hey up, hey up there. Get on with it there. Come on, we've got to finish ploughing this field before nightfall. Oh, we've got the finest oxen in the countryside. Just look at them. Oh, aren't they beautiful pulling our plough? <laughs> if the governor of Unterwalden saw them, he'd be very jealous. Uh, you are wrong to provoke him, my son. His anger will be aroused and he'll come after us. All I've done is to say out loud what everyone's thinking inwardly. And nevertheless, it wasn't the moment for saying such things. You've been very rash. Here come some of Landenberg's lackeys. 
I think they've got it in for us, my son. Just look at them. They're trampling down our furrows. Oh, for heaven's sake, keep calm. Are you Arnold Melchdahl? Yes, I am. You've got two very nice oxen there. I think they'd be very much better in the stables at his grace's house. What are you hinting at exactly? You insulted his lordship. Another time you'll think twice before you call the governor of Unterwalden an Austrian peacock. Oh, look here, if you take our oxen away from us, we, we won't be able to plough our ground anymore. <laughs> if the peasants want to have bread, let them pull their ploughs themselves. <laughs> That's what the governor says. Come on, the rest of you. Lift off the yoke and take the beasts away. All right, Don't touch them! Are you way, resisting yes. the governor's orders? Those oxen belong to me. This is open rebellion. Grab him, soldier. Yeah, come, come on, Andrew. Ah, he's now. broken my on, finger. Now. Watch out, he's getting away. Well, he's running towards the mountains. Get him! As for you, old man, I've got you, and I'm not going to let you get away. What's your name? Henry Melstahl, Your Grace. Where's your son hiding? I don't know. You're lying. Look here, I'm telling you this for your own good. You'd better speak now. I've told you the truth. We'll see. Hans, tell the torturer to come. Yes, Your Grace. Torture me as much as you like, but I can't tell you anything more. I simply don't know. You and your son are in agreement about revolting against the Emperor and against me. I'm ready, Your Grace. Make this man talk. And if he doesn't? Gouge his eyes out. Blinded my father. Come on, Arnold. Take hold of yourself. I'll avenge him. I'll go and seek out the governor in his palace at Zana, and I'll kill him in broad daylight in the middle of his guards. Look, you're a wanted man. You wouldn't go a couple of yards before you were taken. Stay at my house. I'll hide you as long as your life's in danger. What who on earth can that be at this hour? Don't move. I'll go and see who it is. It's my son-in-law, William Tell. Good evening. Come in quickly. We're being watched, perhaps. Arnold. I rather thought I'd find you here. William, do you know what the governor's done to my father? Yes, I do. That's why I came along. Sit down, William. The Emperor's two governors have committed too many atrocities already. It's time an end was put to it all. The governors have got strength on their side. But we've got the people. Yes, that's true. And if the three districts all rose together... Each one of us can recruit men in his own. I'll look after the district of Uri. I've got plenty of friends who are ready to give their blood and their lives if necessary so that we can get back the freedom we used to have. I can convince the men in Schwitz that they've got to join up with us. And the men in the district of Unterwalden will follow you too. I'll see to that. I'm not going to let you leave here, Arnold. I'm responsible for your safety. But I wouldn't be running any risks. I know all the secret paths in the mountains and... I want to avenge my father. Where can we meet without giving the alarm? Do you know the Rutli? Well, that's a clearing in the woods near the lake, isn't it? Yes, that's right. We'll all meet there with the men we've been able to get to follow us, and we'll discuss what we're going to do.
That's the church clock in Salisberg striking two o'clock in the morning. Only William Tell and his men are missing. He won't be long in coming. I've seen my father. I put my hand on his dead eyes. I'll avenge him. Who goes there? It must be William Tell. The password? Friends of the country. It's him, all right. You're very late, William. We were getting worried. We had to make a lot of detours to throw the governor's spies off our tracks. How many men have you got, Stavaka? Ten. And you, Arnold? Ten as well. With mine, that makes thirty altogether. Let's hold our meeting according to the ancient customs. We'll stake our swords in the ground as a sign of power. There are men here from each of the three districts. Who's going to preside over the meeting? I propose William Tell from the district of Uri. Yes. 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 We, we, agree. we agree. We are not founding a new alliance. All we are doing is to renew a pact which dates from the time of our fathers. The lands that we have, we cultivated with our own hands. Are we going to put up with foreign domination? We want freedom! Let us kill our governors and their soldiers! Let's kill all those that sympathize with Austria! No blood is to be shed. A people that knows how to be moderate, even though it is armed, is one that inspires a just fear. If the enemy are armed, they won't give in without a fight. We'll take them by surprise. The castles of Rosberg and Zahnen will fall into our hands without a sword being raised. That's easy enough to say. And it's easy enough to do. On New Year's Day, the peasants go into Zahnen Castle to take presents to the governor. We'll act on that day. Ten of our men will occupy the doors. The others will see to the rest of the building. You're right. I'll look after Rosberg Castle. My betrothed is lady-in-waiting to the governor's wife. She'll lower a rope ladder down to us at night, and I'll send some of my men in. When we're masters of the castles... We'll chase the governors out of our country. For the moment, all of us will have to bear the presence of the tyrants as stoically as we can. The least indiscretion would jeopardize the whole affair. Day is breaking. We must separate. Let us swear the oath. We swear never to betray our comrades. We, we swear! We swear to fight for our liberty. We swear! May God protect our sacred alliance. May God be with us.